Today, we're going to talk about the amazing immune benefits of garlic, especially during the winter. Now, garlic has been used for about, I don't know, 4,000 years. And it's been used for things like arthritis, diabetes, colds, malaria, TB, and the list goes on and on and on and on. Louis Pasteur studied uh, garlic in its antibacterial properties, the, the ability to kill pathogenic bacteria. During the Second World War, when the Russians ran out of their antibiotics, guess what they used as their antibiotic? Garlic. So garlic was called Russian penicillin. So garlic has been thoroughly proven as a therapy to prevent infection. As one of the big benefits is ranked at the top as having potent anti-cancer effects. And this data was from the Designer Food Project, where they were studying the effects of cancer prevention from vegetables. Now, I want to share some really interesting data from this book called Modern Phytomedicine, okay? And this is a fascinating textbook using plant compounds and chemicals in medicine. So I'm going to share with you uh, the chapter on garlic, which is quite amazing. You know, they should really teach this in med school. Unfortunately, when you go through um, medical school or pre-med, I went through pre-med. I didn't go through medical school. I went through chiropractic college, which is not the same as medical school, but there's a tremendous amount of data that you have to learn. And I guess uh, the word learn is probably not appropriate. Uh, let's just say you're being force-fed volumes of data and you're expected to regurgitate that and somehow pass the tests. So unfortunately, it's set up not to necessarily really, really understand the material because there's just not enough time to absorb and play with the information and, and evaluate if it's true or not. Instead, you are flying by the seat of your pants trying to memorize and parrot back this information on the multiple choice questions. And then when you graduate, you have a chance to maybe reevaluate the information and, and really learn it, apply it, make sure it's valuable, make sure it's true, and then really spend the time on things that you're interested in so you're not rushing through things. But I want to show you some very valuable things that you can apply from this to your life right now to bulletproof yourself against pathogens. Now, most of the studies that they were done were in Petri dishes, okay? That's called in vitro. And so to be transparent, they did not study in human bodies. However, let me explain what they found. So one of the first studies that they did is they took this little Petri dish and they filled it with pathogenic E. coli. Then they sprinkled some garlic powder over the E. coli and they noticed that within 12 hours, all of the E. coli was completely dead. And then they compared this with another Petri dish uh, with E. coli, and then they put fresh grated garlic, they grated it right over this Petri dish, and within 12 hours, all the E. coli was completely dead. In another experiment, they found that garlic killed MRSA, which is a antibiotic resistant microbe, which is very, very deadly, difficult to kill. And you see this in hospitals, but garlic was able to kill this microbe very easily. And another study they found within three hours, garlic killed anthrax. And you know how pathogenic or deadly anthrax is. It creates some pretty serious effects, but garlic was able to kill anthrax. They also found that garlic has a potent effect against viruses, fungus, and parasites. And then they did some interesting studies on just the odor of garlic, you know, little particles that come off garlic just from the smell. Now, what gives garlic the smell is a sulfur compound called allicin. And allicin is one of the chemicals in garlic that um, does its magic for many things, not just infection, for thinning your blood to prevent a clot, for regulating your blood sugars, for killing cancer, for lowering your blood pressure, but they found just having the odor of garlic, not even touching the bacteria, killed the bacteria. So think about it. During the winter months, if you consume garlic and your breath has an odor of garlic, you're actually repelling microbes. You are killing microbes in the air if you're breathing off these garlic um, particles. And apparently garlic has developed um, this defense mechanism uh, for its own survival over eons of time. Just like many other herbs and vegetables, like the onion and horseradish, 
and many of the cruciferous vegetables as well. Garlic has the ability to bind with organophosphates, which are in pesticides, and detoxify them from your body. Organophosphates really have a devastating effect on your immune system. They lower your immune system. They make you very susceptible to getting sick. And garlic can help detoxify these chemicals to help protect your immune system. And as you probably already know, when you get exposed to a virus, the complications from that virus usually occur in people who have a compromised immune system, whether they have metabolic syndrome or they're going through a lot of stress. It's really the strength of the immune system that gets them through these infections. And this is a topic that is rarely emphasized or focused on. Now, one of the problems you're going to run into is the quality of garlic. Did you realize that 80% of all the garlic in the world comes from China? And the problem with that is that in China, they use bleach on garlic and they use other chemicals to make this garlic look very, very white without any blemishes or brown spots. They also sometimes grow their garlic in sewage and garlic is heavily sprayed with additional chemicals. So if you're going to buy garlic, make sure it's locally grown, make sure it comes from a really good source. Another question that people want to know is what about the fermented black garlic? Does that have any advantages? And the answer is absolutely yes. There's more antioxidants, there's more nutrients in fermented garlic, and that would be black garlic, or you can ferment garlic in honey, for example. Now the honey obviously is not keto friendly, but what I do is I take the garlic out, I'll rinse it, it's already been fermented, and I'll eat one of these a day during the winter. And if you're not familiar with this recipe, I'll put the link down below, but it's a great way to ferment garlic and allow the microbes to break down certain uh, chemicals that make it very easy to digest and to en enhance the garlic with additional nutrients and phytonutrients. Now, another point I wanna bring up is, what about heated garlic? What about powdered garlic? Well, apparently the real important uh, phytonutrients in garlic can survive temperatures that are 100 degrees Celsius, which is 212 degrees Fahrenheit for at least 20 minutes. So these chemicals do survive a good amount of heat. All right, so now that you know about the power of garlic, let's talk about the power of using apple cider vinegar. Check this out. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.